Um, and I suppose I should be shaking my head like the, the, the skeletons, I suppose. But uh, yeah, here I am, red faced, red top, the secret vault. Yeah, feeling a bit better than yesterday. I'm not sure how much my energy levels will last because uh, until I started uh, going, right, I have to get ready for the show. See, I can, I can put it on for the show. I can, but, but prior to the show, it was like this. <sighs> right, okay. Yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit drained of energy. Um, that's a stingy eyes. Eyes are stinging because of hay fever. All right, so we'll start with my list of moans now, okay? Hay fever, um, run down, uh, po um, too hot, then there was um, probably heat stroke, um, probably not enough water for the explore we were on. Um, then I had hypothermia. We'll go into that. Um, I think it was probably hypothermic because I, I, I've never experienced anything quite like that. So um, let's have a look what's going on in the chat channel. Wee, let me see if I can do this so I can get you on the sides. And then, nope. <laughs> Thank you, Windows 10. I won't go into that, that rant. Move it across. I can't see everyone. Hang on. Let's do this. Uh, and let's see what comes of this. Oh. I so have to take the time to turn this feature off where if you go to the edge of the screen it makes everything full screen which I never asked for but I have to work out how to do it I don't want it right there we are hang on there we are now I can see people's chat messages on the side you get a little bit too close and suddenly boosh full screen okay hello everybody thanks to everybody who's been chatting in the channel beforehand as well um, I'll try and look at the camera if I can, but I'm looking, trying to look at the uh, the chat comments which are over there. It'd be better if I could stick them there, really, isn't it? But we don't live in a perfect world. Or, or do we? Maybe I could stick them over there, and then I can look at the... Oh, it's gone full screen. It's gone full screen. It's gone full screen because it thinks that's what I want, but it's not what I want. Right, hang on. Oh, it's gone, it's gone small now. It's gone small. Now I've lost the comments. Don't make them smaller. I d I'm not asking you to do this, Windows 10. You're doing things I'm not asking you to do. Right? Right. There. Nearly, we're nearly there, folks. We're nearly there. Right, now let me bring me over here. Okay, now I have the camera and the comments. Maybe we can do it like this. Oh, but I don't have the ability to uh, scroll up and down, because that was hidden. Now we're there. Now hopefully nothing will change. There we go. Is the bath running? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I need one after this probably. Um, <clears throat> so what? I'll just get straight to it. Okay. I mean, yes, I looked in a state last night. I probably shouldn't have had. Um, I shouldn't have had the. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The. Um, I shouldn't have done the show. You know, I shouldn't have done Carl's show last night. Um, but prior to that, I'd even been adventurous enough to try and get out on the road because there was a crop circle out there, and somebody said, "Oh, you might want to photograph this new crop circle." So me being like the fool I am, said, "Oh, I'm, I, I'm kind of trained into you know being a, a bloody bitch for uh, the crop circle connector, you know that any time they ring, I have to drop whatever I'm doing and, and go running." So of course, feeling having this like ingrained into you, you know, is like. Um, I thought, well, I'd better go and photograph the crop circle. So I decided to get in the car, even though I felt like shit. You saw what it was like. That's what it was like. And I decided to get in the car, like a bitch, forget about me and my welfare, just think about others, get out there and do the photograph, right? You know, it's like... But, of course, there's no reason for me to do it now. You see, so I, did, I, I got about 20 minutes down the road of driving, and I realised I was nodding. I was... Uh, I couldn't keep my eyes straight in the road. And I was just like, why am I doing this? Why am I putting myself through this? Why am I doing this? Um, so I just turned the car on and came home. Um, and then one hour later, because I had a bit of time, you know, so one hour later I had the show with Carl. And that's what I looked like. Uh, wasn't good, was it? Yeah. So you, you have to wonder, the, the, you know, the stupidity of going out to do... Um, right, I, I was just going to read the comments. I just had a thought then, is my mic on? <laughs> Yes, I could be my mic's on, but I just had a thought, a paranoia that my mic wasn't on. Um, yeah. Oh, Katie Dell says uh, Windows is a pain in the arse. <laughs> it is, but it's better than uh, it's better than having an Apple Mac. So uh, yeah. Um, mm. So sorry about that. I've got some crispies stuck in my teeth. What few teeth I have left. Um, yeah, that's part of it as well. 
I have a number of um, fillings have fallen out and I would go to see the dentist apart from the fact that you're not allowed to unless you've got an emergency uh, as well put it like this you may not know this but two of my teeth uh, fell out at the back and I have been battling with my dentist to get something done about it for two years but they can't do anything about it because unless you go on private um, which is going to cost loads of money they told me um, it you know it, it can't there's nothing you can do about it and I says well why can't you just do something on the NHS then and they were like well no no you can't do it on the NHS because um, oh thanks Lucy for four ninety nine oh thank you love to you Matt hope you're feeling better soon can I come and explore with you please um, well depends where you live and I have a strict policy on only going on explores with people that give me bloody good leads hiya Curbs I'm eight Curbs is in the channel by the way Curbs vids. Go and check him out. He's uh, he's a good laugh. Obsessively compulsively disordered uh, on his lift lift fetish. <laughs> yeah, he's a he's a good lad. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, get some dental putty. I do, but it doesn't stay in there. Um, you, that tempering stuff is crap. It just keeps coming out. So I'm not in I'm not in any pain. Don't get me wrong. I'm not in any pain with these teeth because they were ones that had previously had root canals and stuff like that on them. But the point is, for two years now, I've had nothing in those teeth. There's just a hole there, right? Because I've been saying, well, can't you do something about it? And they said, well, no, because there's not enough of the teeth left to do anything. So it'll have to be pulled out or you can go and have it done privately. And I said, well, I don't want them pulled out because if I pull it out, then it's the route, it's the road to, to nothing, isn't it? So, and they said, well, the only place it can do it is in Bristol, they told me. And then uh, this is... Um, so we got them to write to them, even though they said it was a waste of time. But Bristol write back and they say, well, you're not in our catchment area. So it's like Wiltshire doesn't have this type of dental treatment because we are just, re you know, we're just Hick Hickville, yeah? So if you go to a big city, London, Bristol, they can all treat you for this on the NHS. But it, Wiltshire, no, 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 they just throw you to the wolves, just pull all your teeth out. You know, great. So um, I complained about this and it took a long time, but I had a reply. And guess what the NHS said? You should never have been told that by your dentist, that's not true. They can treat you, and we've told them to treat you. There you go. But guess what then happened? Coronavirus. <laughs> so, I was cancelled, my appointment was cancelled because of coronavirus, and now i still got the holes in my teeth. Anyway, that's, that's one little thing, okay? Now, how does that affect my exploring? Normally, it doesn't, okay? Um, Keep it clean in the chat, um, says Mur 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 Smur Smurfin the, the Persian mis Mistra, whatever. Yeah, that one. Merlin the Pigeon Whisperer. Hello, sir. Thank you for helping. Mm. Tell you what, let's get some people I know as moderators. Where's Kerbsy? He hasn't been able to moderator. Um, anyway, uh, to, to um, Lucy, um, Lucy Fur. Yeah, if you give us a good um, tip off, I will. Uh, have a look. I'm looking for his icon. Where is he? Ah, there he is. Right, let me make him a moderator. How does a moderator? There you are, you are now a moderator. So um, you can help out if you see anything. Um, yeah, uh, uh, Tracy Jackson says, How's you? Use clove oil. Got clove oil, got bottles of the stuff, right? Not a problem. The only problem is. <laughs> I've got problems with my gums, uh, not my gums, my lips, and um, swollen, swollen up, yeah. Uh, let's try and keep it on track. So dental problems, okay. Um, with having these teeth missing and the fillings come out, I've got jagged bits. So sometimes these jagged bits are making me bite my lip, bite my cheeks. Um, I've got sore spots in the inside of my cheeks because of this. Now then, we go to the explore I did the other day. So, um, and I'll, I'll if, if, if you if you don't want to see something gross, right? Turn away now, right? This is either an ulcer or it is me having bitten my lip. Okay, so watch this now. Okay, ready? Don't turn away if you don't like it. It's just going to be on my lip. Okay, but here's my swollen lips. Okay, so let me see if I can focus this in. You can see it. Can you see sw swollen? Right. It. They, these are chapped. Right. From being sunburned, right, and then, and you got, you got, oh, I can, you can see it. Can you see the ulceration? Is there? Uh, uh, there's bits on the inside. It's horrible. Yeah, it's bullshit. Yeah. Um, but the trouble is, 
if I've got sensitive swollen lips and things like that, and I put clove oil in my mouth, I'm going to literally punch my fist through the wall because the pain of my punching my fist through the wall is going to be less than the pain I'm getting in my mouth. Right? I use Listerine right, to, as a, oh boy, oh boy, do I wake up, do my eyes go wide? Mm. It, it, I, I get tears flowing when I use Listerine, yeah? That's how painful that is, yeah? Um, mm. um, it's duty of care. Well, I've got to wait, you know? Um, I've got to wait. I've waited two years, so what difference is going to be like an extra month or something? But they, they should be taking these dentists out of coronavirus thing soon. So anyway, um, what they're going to do is they're going to, instead of putting fillings in there, which they've done in the past, they're going to do what they should have done initially all that time ago, which is to put a bloody uh, a cap on it. You're like, what do they call them? Cap. Uh, anyway, um, they're going to put one of those in there. So I'm going to actually have a, like, a top on the tooth so there we go um, but anyway in the meantime um, I've been concerned over the last two years that something's going to get in there and give me a bloody bug that's going to go to my brain because that happened to a friend of mine who had then, then got taken into bloody hospital um, and nearly died you know and that person's name that that happened to right is Colin Andrews the crop circle researcher and author okay so yeah and he was taken into hospital and it was touch and go whether he would live. And that's just because of dental shit, yeah? Hmm. Bongella Cool Gel. I, I, I should go out, but the thing is, I've... I, there's, there's, there is a um, pharmacy down the road and I should go and get some. But honestly, I've just been asleep today. I've just been recovering. It's too late now. It's shut. But, yeah, Bongella. I have been thinking about it, yeah. Um, so... Um, anyway, people are asking me, what about the no Sony, the Sony A7S, what, the, uh, not the 3, um, A7S 3, that hasn't come out yet, has it, or has it, because I'm very interested in having a look at that, um, remove the tooth with yourself with pliers, I actually know somebody who removes their teeth themselves, and, uh, that, remember Ma exploring with Matty, yeah, hmm, he wouldn't go and see a dentist, he used to remove the teeth himself, either with pliers or, is my too, my cheek is very swollen. To be honest, many of you have probably not realised unless you've had a good look at me straight on, right, that I actually have got one side of my face is more swollen than the other, and that's because I had an accident when I was a kid in a car, right, and my, my mouth never set back properly. And they said, oh, yes, Lucifer sent me another four ninety nine. Fair play, Matt. I, uh, I'm in Somerset and I have loads of ideas. OK, look after yourself more. Yeah, well, tell us tell us the ideas, and if it's really, something really good, because, I mean, I've heard of a lot of these places um i'll try and get down and as you're not too far i could probably afford to do it so let's see um oh yeah kk explore says he got busted in morton marsh security turned up then three police cars yeah i heard about that yeah yeah but at least you know they let you walk away that's the main thing um mm. yeah be careful with listerine it contains chlorhexidine which can burn you same stuff surgeons use in pre-op scrub okay um Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It says, my 6.5-year-old son died after the dentist. Um, he had an allergic reaction to the anaesthetic, which made his brain swell, and he passed away. Oh, my God. Mike the Pike. I'm really sorry to hear that, mate. That's, that's terrible. Um, dear, dear. Yeah. Um, well, it's one of those things, you know, I'm trying to hold on to some of my teeth, you know, because... Uh, um, yeah, there, I've had lots of fillings over the years. I, I swear some of this stuff has been bad advice. This year is bad advice from a dentist, right? That gap was not there, right? And I had no problems with that tooth at all. Nothing. Couldn't see anything. Nothing. I was told that the tooth was cracked. And I said, is it? And they were like, yeah. And they said, we can put a filling in it. And I said, well, where is it cracked? And they said, on the backside. So I thought that would mean the filling would be on the backside and you wouldn't see anything. Fair enough. Next thing I know, and I go, hang on, what were we doing? And then they go, well, we're dr drilling it out. Says, you sound like you're drilling an awful lot of stuff there. And of course they had, they dr drilled all that out. And then they put the filling, which then covers it back up. I don't even think there was a problem, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. I don't trust dentists, to be honest. I've, I've had arguments with dentists in the past over things, yeah. And... Um, 
and it's like I'm sorry uh, yeah I look like Madonna yeah I don't like Madonna actually I don't like that gap tooth look <laughs> yeah I don't like it I was I was I was on the uh, the recent explore Cobra Mist and I actually said that I said who here likes Madonna who thinks Madonna looks sexy anyone I literally shouted out here to people who wasn't I don't know if I filmed it but I just said who thinks Madonna looks sexy and they were like mm. I said well anybody like thinks she's like whoa and they were like mm, not really and I was like yeah I think she just looks like really funny with a gap tooth and um, yeah and, and I think you know and then she like dresses up in all this like I'm a I'm a slut I'm a whore gear and I'm just think you know is that really is that good you know is that good well, it just freaks me out you know mm. I I I consider you know sleeping with whores to be a dirty thing mm. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't recommend it um, have I tried oil pulling don't know what that is hmm. Dentists try to provide preemptive care to fix problems before they become an issue. Yeah, well, they, they all they do is they say, well, here, uh, brush with this ultra, 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 ultra fluoride, which, of course, me knowing what fluoride really does, um, think I think to myself, well, <laughs> yeah, I'll get to the end of the tube and then I don't burn any more, and that's it. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, so the teeth thing is one thing. Um, the gap tooth... That's the dentist, yeah. So now, now it keeps falling out all the time, and I have to keep getting it put back in. But you're seeing me like this because I was meant to have that put in at the same time as I was meant to go for the treatment for everything else that I had to complain to the NHS to get done, yeah. So now you have me like this, yeah. That's me. That's the new me, yeah. We've all got the new normal. That's the new normal, yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Somebody, Google said, Google decided that uh, King B's comment, it says, and plug Oral B. It thought that might be uh, rude. So, yeah, it, it put it on hold, but anyway. Mm. Good morning, Exploring McCall. And, uh, uh, da 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 da. Yeah, um, yeah. Mark Urbex abandoned photography. I think they like to say to experiment on you and test their skills. They do, and at the end of the day, you know, you get a new dentist all the time in my dentistry. You know, my dentist is like every time I go there's a new dentist. You know, it's like so they they seem to be like, what are they reject rejected dentists? Are they can't they hold on to a dentist? What is it? You know, it's like every time you go there's a bit different bloody dentist. So I mean, like you know, are you going to get personal treatment? Are you going to get absolutely brilliant treatment when you you know it's not somebody that knows you understands or, I mean, what are they like firing them afterwards? Are they going on to better jobs afterwards? What the hell's going on? You know. Um, anyway, uh, hello the Joneses. Um, yeah, Bar Barry Allen says dentist equals well, glorified oral B salesman. Yeah. Um, Shane O'Connor says, "Are the comments stuff? I'm trying to ask you something that uh, something that isn't going on. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I've got top chat and I've got live chat. All messages are visible, so I've put mine onto live chat now. Um, in case I don't know, I want to see all the comments. So let's see what happens. Um, spend money on private, then you don't get messed about. Yeah." Well, I would if I had the money, but, um, you know, they want like 700 quid to put in two teeth or something, you know, or to put two uh, caps, crowns, I think they call them, isn't it? That's right, caps, not crowns. Um, they want they want 700 quid, and is that, and when I get there, it probably, it pr the first thing they'll probably say is, oh, no, 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 not 700 quid for two, that's 700 quid each. <laughs> they can jump in a lake, let's put it politely. Yeah, right. Um, all right, Curbs is off, he said. He'll be back on later. Great. Um, so that's just that's just dentistry before we even get to the Explore, okay? Um, and then uh, you you got the... Uh, I get hay fever quite badly, and it's summertime. So um, what's this? Uh, yeah, uh, Cray Goo says, hello, Matt. Hello, mate. Um, I get hay fever, and it makes my eyes walk 
water and my eyes itch and I get streaming nose and it just makes me feel like I've got a lot of energy lost you know it makes me feel tired and uh, so I have to take antihistamines but that doesn't really sort of make the problem go pa go away I'm magically better it just means that I have less itchiness and less snottiness you know and uh, possibly more energy but um, it doesn't really help 100% I have to motivate myself to just say, right, I'm going to fight the feeling of sleep and just get out and do something and, you know, try and keep myself exercised. But it's a, it's a fight because, you know, um, it's very alluring. You know, sitting back in your chair is quite alluring. Then we have the heat problem in the room. Like this, this room is like a bloody oven. Yeah, um, I've got equipment on in here and the only thing I can do to keep cool is keep the fan on or work at night to edit videos. Okay, so that's that's a problem. In the daytime, I'm like, it's so much heat, and the heat sets off my hay fever. It makes the hay fever worse. <laughs> so you can just imagine, daytime's not a good time for me. Yeah, going out, doing the shopping, going out with the dog. The dog doesn't do well in the heat either, to be honest. So, you know, um, yeah, I go out at night, you know, uh, with the dog, or when it's gay, twilight, so the sun is not on the, uh, is not right above us. That sort of stuff. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm told to use optics, I eye drops yeah optrex doesn't really work i've had to have better stuff than that i got um uh oh what's it called it's i got it downstairs i've got i've got beckonase which used to be prescription they've now made it um non-prescription that's a steroid you know for your nose um then there's the thing for the eyes um which i have to put in the eyes it's just some sort of salt salt substance but um yeah that, that that's okay sometimes um, oh, hello, Lee Ford has just donated one pound and with no comment, but thank you, Lee Ford. Um, yeah, so Exploring Car says he's got a couple of good locations to do in the next day or two. Well, if I can manage the muster the energy, yes. Um, anyway, yeah, I was telling people about I had one side of my face is actually slightly bigger than the other. Like this one curves around here. You see, it seems bigger. Yeah, and this one seems this, hang on, this side is a little bit flatter. You see it? Yeah. I spot it because I know it's there. I also spot it because I used to do portraiture art, and you have to notice a lot of people have eyes are not level. That's perfectly natural. You know, different positions of nose and and shape of the face and all that. So I sp I spot it, and when I look at a person, I, I I'm, I'm automatically because I'm trained, you know, in, in to do portraits. I'm automatically saying right eyes low, higher, left eye lower. You know. Um, slightly close together, um, you know, chins off to one side, you know, and that sort of stuff. I'm kind of like looking at all these like little peculiarities. Um, try fex, uh, fexofenadrine from your GP. What's that then? Snaggle 90. What does that do? Fexofenadrine. I'm just going to copy your comment now into, uh, I mean, I'm into like anything that might help. So let's have a little look. Oh, shit. I got the bloody windows all open now over here. Hang on, let me open a chrome up over the top. Let me just open a chrome and that'll do it. Let's see what that is. Phenofexidrine. Antihistamine that relieves allergy symptoms. Mmm. Conjunctivitis. Okay. Allegra. Uh, it's sold under the name Allegra and FX24. Mmm. See, this is why I was. If you wonder why I was um, when I was doing the doing the uh, stream with Carl, I was going like this and doing that. It's because I'm trying. I'm trying to feel how badly swollen my mouth still is. So some people said it looked like I was gurning, you know, like um, like I'd taken a load of ecstasy or something, and I was like, you know, going all that. No, 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 no. I'm literally. I was. I was looking at myself in the, in the uh, the window, and I was. I was like, mm, mm, how bad is it? Because it's all raw. It's all raw up here as well. Yeah, it's raw there. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Anyway, it's raw there. Hmm. Raw there. It's raw across there. It's raw in a line all the way along where my teeth are. Right there, it's, a, it's like that. It's like in in the inside. My teeth are biting in the inside of my lip. Anyway, try using lipstick. Um, Desloratadine. Well, I, um, Desloratadine. Well, I use uh, Loratadine. 
which is um, Claritin, but they used to have one called Neo Loratadine, but they stopped doing it. It was better, and they stopped doing it for some reason. But Des Loratadine, um, I, I don't know, it's different to the one I'm getting because uh, I, I buy my stuff myself now because there too many people were coming to them looking for the prescriptions. So they said, oh, bollocks, then we'll just make these particular uh, you know, t particular things non-prescription so you can just go buy them yourself. Um, mm, there's loratadine. Yeah, so it's probably very similar to um, what I'm already taking, but it, it's probably got a little bit of a... Yeah, it's, it's a, called a non-drowsy antihistamine. It can, it can still cause drowsiness in a few people. Yeah, it does with me. Um, and I've got to be careful because um, if I'm on it and I drink, as you've seen, um, it doesn't take much to get me drunk, like, you know, two pints. Well, anyway, last night, I should admit, I'll admit something to you, right? It's not a big admission by any by any spell of the imagination, but um, once I finished drinking my Vimto, right, which was in a glass, right, I then cracked open a warm can of beer and probably drank about half of it. I don't know. I don't think I got very far through it, but... Um, and then that was it. That was me then, whoa, whoa, nodding out. That's why I had to go to bed and just like, you know, it's enough to push me over the edge, really. You know, I'm not, I'm not able, to, I can't drink it like I used to. Uh, Sertrazine hydrochloride, I don't like. That's Pyriton. That one, um, that one sends me to sleep. So, mm. so, Pyrenees, he swears by it. The thing is, I, there's so many out there, and some, um, some are good for some people and some are good for others it definitely oh, it's felt pain then from there you know my as I'm talking and you know it's like hmm so a couple of times last night you'd have probably seen me go ah, because it was literally like I'd managed to bite my, my bite my chin and uh, um, yeah and not did I say bite my chin? I said bite my chin, didn't I? I'm just reviewing what I just said. Bite my cheek. I didn't bite my chin. I'd be bloody uh, very clever if I could sort of manage to get my chin in my mouth. Anyway, um, I bite, bite my cheek or bite my lip and just like absolute uh, pain. And um, they saw they saw me do it a couple of times when I was with them uh, down at the Cobra Mist site. And they saw me go, uh, and I was like, what's the matter, man? And I was like, oh, I just bit it again. And they're like, Phew, you know, and it's like, but if they hadn't have been there, I would have just shouted out so loudly. I was like, fuck, man, wanka. You know, because it's just like pissing me off. Um, have I been to a dentist? Yes, I have. Um, but to be honest with these things, uh, you know, they, some of them have been so sharp that I've just taken a Dremel to them, you know, and just, I just sort of zzz, and just like took the, took the bloody edge off them because they were just so bloody sharp. Um, so yeah anyway um, when's the ghost thing coming out as soon as I can actually have enough energy to stay awake to edit it uh, which I haven't had a lot of energy re recently I've been kind of you know fighting fighting to sort of stay awake fighting to get the motivation to go out and going out's fine because then I'm out doing something so it wakes me up but sitting in front of a computer like this editing with the heat in this room <laughs> you're having a laugh aren't you you are absolutely having a laugh. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm ten minutes and I'm, I'm fighting sleep. You know, uh, cups of tea, cups of tea, cups of tea. You know, energy drinks. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I'm put, I'm put my hand down here now, so I'll show you this because I, I thought you might like to see this. This was the towel. This should have gone in the in the wash. Yeah, but it's sitting on the chair, and this towel is now like like starched because of my body sweat coming off me yesterday. What I do sometimes is when, because there's no way to cool this place down apart from air conditioning, which I can't afford, yeah, one of the ways I found that is good, yeah, is you get a wet towel and you put it on your shoulders like that, and then you put the fan on, okay, and then that keeps you cool, and every once in a while you can just wet your head down and just whoosh, that evaporation will keep you cool. So that's why I had the towel on last night, if it didn't make a lot of sense to people, that's why that was there, okay, I'm trying to keep cool. Um, Going to sleep. Mm, you can get these ball things you put up your nostrils to stop the hay fever from entering. Bloody hell, I've never heard of any of the thing, anything like that. Um, hello, somebody's asking me what did I use uh, to edit. I use Adobe Premiere. 
and um, I haven't been in the wars I've just been suffering from multiple ailments which then built up into something you know uh, quite interesting when I when I got extremely hot a cobra mist and then I got frozen I will come to that yeah um, the other thing about if I get an aircon I've had aircon before right I mean, uh, Dan Dixon's just got one now, right? And, and I went, mm-hmm, because he, su he suffers. You know, that's why he's got it. Obviously, it's too hot. He's suffering, yeah, whether he's got hay fever or whether it's just, just you know, he just wants to sleep and it's hard to edit, you know. it's just It just makes people miserable. The heat is just miserable, you know. I'm far better off in the winter, you know. It might be cold, but you can put, but you can put lots of clothes on. Um, anyway, I'm going to say hold that thought because I need a small comfort break. I'll be back in a minute. Hold, hold the thought, okay? Oh, back to the heat. Back to the heat it is, yes. Um, hello. Sorry, I'm getting caught short a little bit. It's not um, it's not something you can really leave either uh, because I've been drinking a lot of vitamin C, um, putting it in my uh, drink. I've got bags of the stuff. But when I feel ill, I just dose up on loads of vitamin C. But when you drink it in massive quantities, you get a bit of a laxative effect, if you know what I mean. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's more important to get the vitamin C in there. So uh, let's have a little look at what people have been saying. Um, it's not a beer delivery. No, no, no. This this beer here is um, actually unopened and warm. So um, that's from last night. Yeah, but I didn't end up even opening it. Um, why? What channel is this? Why this in to view? I don't know what that means, but there we are. Um, How's the boat? Got the engine sorted out? No, I haven't, but um, the person who it is that I'm trying to get the money back from uh, has received his registered letter now, his recorded delivery, and signed for it like a child. So I'm, I'm sure they're going to pretend like they never got it, the letter delivered, but we shall see, because with, he's got 14 days, and whether he says that delivers, that's been delivered or not, I will use it as proof. When he goes to court, if he doesn't want to turn up and use that as an excuse... <laughs> probably send him another one you know just say, I haven't heard from you so off to court we go and then he'll sign for that one as well but uh, we tend to know that people there's certain people out there in life that will just rather hide from situations and think they can just run away and keep your money so yeah we we like dealing with people like that we we stamp all over them yes so yeah indeed um, so I'm not giving £1,000 to some chancer who just go, puts out a crap engine that hasn't been checked in any way, shape or form. No, we don't, we don't do that. And we, we, we will rub our hands in glee at the thought of giving him a county court judgment that will lose him credit and stay on his file. He'll find it hard to get a mortgage. Yeah, great. Or give me my ing money back. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, hello the urban legend. Thanks. Um yeah, I'm I'm I wouldn't say I'm well, but I'm able to put on a bit of a a better show uh than uh when when the camera goes live, I can uh, I can I can put it on a bit, but um, I'm certainly feeling um not 100% at my feet. Um Yeah, we've had a, I just I haven't even had chance, right, to deal with my car door. I need to unplug the um wires from the 
the door open mechanism because it's currently stuck to open the door and it, it, it puts the windows up and then it locks all the doors and then it won't unlock and all this sort of stuff and I've, I've been going through this like four days we even went down to this Cobra Mist place like that pain in the arse um, so maybe after I get off here before I lose my energy and start thinking of sleep again I'll go and do that it should be take about 10 minutes and then I'm not going to have to climb into my car I can actually uh, open the door and, and get into the driver's seat. Um, vitamin C, too much can crystallize in your liver. Well, I don't do it often, um, just when I'm feeling run down. But yeah, I drink a lot of water after it, but like I might get one hit of vitamin C, you know, and then the rest of the day is water. So, um, oh, you're not bars eyed tonight. No, I'm not. Um, vape underground I'm uh, I'm not bars eyed but I, well, I I wasn't with it last night yeah oh my stomach's grumbling um, you're better than my bath episodes uh, I or you are better than your bath episodes yes indeed um, but a bath is a good way a cold shower you know to kind of cool you down that's another way but uh, drink lots of water WD-40 and duct tape is all you need in your life to fix stuff um, yeah, indeed. Um, what's in the tubs behind? All these. Uh, oh, that particular one is is all medicines. Okay, so here we are. Melatonin, otravine, clove oil. See clove oil? <laughs> kidney stone. Right, because I actually kept one of my old kidney stones because it was pretty big. When I passed it, I was so impressed I kept it. And a doctor's stethoscope to make sure that my heart is working properly and not not uh, firing off improperly. Yeah, a bit of a hypochondriac you might say, but with, when you get panic attacks, one of the things you have with panic attacks is convincing yourself you're having a heart attack and you aren't, but nothing will convince you that you aren't apart from a doctor you know, or something like that. So I got myself a stethoscope in the end because my doctor said, there's nothing wrong with your heart. And it's like, okay. So I got a stethoscope so I could listen to my own heart to convince myself, oh, it sounds fine. But you think it's doing things that it isn't doing, yeah? And that's paranoia, panic attack, head screwing with you territory. Hope you don't have it. If you have, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, those are BB bullets for my um, fake little air soft gun. Um, glues, it's basically all stuff to do with model making or um, repairing stuff. It's all stuff to glue things. There's glues, pliers, drills, uh, screwdrivers, socket sets, it's all there, all the bits I use. Anyway, um, show us the stone. I could do, but I have to get out of the box. Maybe we'll do it another time, yeah? I mean, it's, pretty, it's, it's big. Oh, shall I? How many of you want to see it? Because if it grosses you out too much, I won't show it. All right, let's see how many want to see it. Okay. Um, some things in here, some bit funny things. I swear by this stuff, melatonin, yeah? But I, I only I only have five milligrams normally, right? But um, these are useful if the dog is stressed, you can give like a, a third of one of those to the dog. Uh, but yeah, um, I don't know if it's in here. I don't, I, I've, it's written on the thing it's in here, but I don't know if it is in here. Oh, there's it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hang on, let me see, is this big? It says Matt Kidney Stone. Oh, I think it's broken into multiple pieces. Oh, they're pretty big pieces though. How many want? How many wants to see it then? How am I going to show it to you? I'll have to point the camera down. Um, hang on. I have to point the camera down and stick them on something white. I think. Hang on. How far does the camera go down? Mm, sort of, sort of. And I need to focus it in as well. Let me bring up the thing to focus it. We'll get there, we'll get there. I'll show you my stones. If you really want to get into my life that much, I shall show you my stones. Mm. Hang on then, folks. Uh, did you pee it out? Yes, I did, I peed it out. Um, it was big. And uh, it hurt when it came out. Right, let's see if I can focus this uh, focus this puppy up. Right, so if I focus for that sort of distance, how does that go? Uh, right, autofocus, there we are, I'll do it, so about that distance there. Right, so I get these out then, and is it too bright? Let me just see, it's too bright, um, hang on, 
maybe if I turn this down a bit, that'd be too bright. Oh, it's doing some sort of auto adjust anyway, um, which is not so bad. Right, let me see if I can. Mm, deal. Let me move it down like this, and then there we go. That's not too bad. Right, so I'll tip these on because I don't want them to run away as well. So there, there they are. That's my. Oh, there they are in the thing. But they, that was that was like one one big thing right so let's put them on here so you can see them it's been bounced around i think right so that was one kidney stone and i'll show you um like that's my little finger yeah uh what else can i show you size against um what have i got here it's a doggy treat it's one of those like gravy bones yeah so that's the size of, of a gravy bone against one of them uh, what else have I got? Anything else? Money. It's usually a good uh, indicator. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love five, pen five pence piece. Right. Five pence piece against my kidney stone. So it's crumbled away. I don't know, maybe they just do, do just disintegrate after time. But there we go. Let's point it down as much as we can. There we are. So yeah, there's a Bit of a beast, really, to come out of my uh, you know where. But yeah, so there's little things you get when you get older if you if you're susceptible to them, perhaps. I don't know. Maybe some people aren't. I know if you sit around editing videos all day and and like me, um, that can help cause it. And it's dietary as well. It's what you eat. And uh, subsequently, I drink a lot more acidic uh, acidic drinks. And I filter my water to get rid of a lot of the um, a lot of the calcium in the water as well. So I think that probably helps. I haven't had any for a while, and I know I know the symptoms now. If I do get any again in the future, because my dad had them recently, and he thought he was going to die. He literally thought he was going to die, and he was making his making his um, plans basically, saying, "Now you know, if I'm." If I'm not here, you know, I want you to know this and know that. And, and he was making his plans. And I said, Dad, just go and see a doctor. It sounds to me like you've got you've got a urinary infection. And I said, you know what the urinary infection has probably come from? It's probably like, you know, you've got kidney stones and it, you, now you've got a urinary infection, yeah? I said, I get them. Go and see a doctor. He came back. He goes, oh, yeah, it was just a urinary infection. He gave me antibiotics. And I felt so much better, like, in a few hours. It was amazing. I was like, yeah, it is. It's weird, that, isn't it? <laughs> I've had exactly the same thing. It feels like you're... Sweating, hallucinating, you can't see straight. It's like, and it's like, yeah, running a real temperature. And it's all because of, you know, kidney stones, urinary infection. Crap, eh? Anyway, let's come back to. So there's my. That's that, that's that then for a laugh. Is, um, uh, I did get gout some years ago. I had to stop drinking cola, co Coca Cola every day. That was very painful. Oh dear. Um, Sand spurs, out they pop, and then the doctor gets a nice Q-tip, dry Q-tip for you. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Um, heroin kept me young, a true story, or the circuits whilst I was in jail. Right, okay, fair enough, says uh, Michael Myers. Um, UTIs can make you feel like you're dying. Yeah, exactly. Well, my dad, he, he did literally think that that was it. He thought he was going to be... Uh, you know, diagnosed with cancer, terminal, it was all over. And um, some people say, I mean, I don't know if it's true, some people say that kidney stones are more painful than giving birth. So, yeah, I've had them a number of times. Hmm. Um, yeah, he's, uh, Lulu says, I've had nine in a row, they kept coming back. Um, you've got to stick up for yourself or keep on the NHS. Uh, and keep on with the NHS or you'll get nowhere, exactly, yeah. You, you've got to actually sort of demand your rights, basically, and say, look, you know, this is not right, this is not right what you're doing here, and I'm going to do something about it. Well, like I say, it took two years to finally prove that I was being treated like a mug by my dentists, yeah, who just wanted to, you know, get me round the corner to their mate who was going to charge me a massive amount of money, yeah. And I knew it. I friggin' knew it, yeah. Uh, but now the NHS know that that's the game they're playing. So hopefully, more more people will complain, you know, about that. 
sort of treatment and that sort of advice they're giving people, which ain't much more than uh, give us your money, yeah? So they get plenty of money out of all the fillings that keep falling out again and again and again and again, yeah? So I'm a regular bloody customer for them already, but it seems like that wasn't good enough, yeah? That was not good enough. It's like, let's take this guy to the cleaners, yeah? Um, so that isn't going to happen. Um, but yes, uh, Jim Jones, uh, five pounds. Thank you very much, Jim Jones. He says, I suffer really badly with excess stomach acid issues, and that's horrible. Especially some someone with a vomiting phobia. Oh dear, yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Um, you know, being. Uh, I I don't have a. I I don't like being sick. But oh, I honestly, I, that every time I've ever had to be sick, I felt so much better afterwards. So it's like, um, if there was a reason I needed to be sick, it's like horrible up to up to the point of being sick. But then once you've been sick, it's like, oh, wow, that feels much better. It's like your body knows and it's sort of like it, it probably gives you a little endorphin treat and it's like well done well done human human uh, master of my body you know thank you uh, <laughs> michael myers says don't take meth never had any inclination to do that uh, what's this oh um meth to subby four mil now bloody hell what are you on about t taking horrible drugs Ugh. Um, okay um, right so big hello to Luke yes hello Luke wherever you are um, yeah stop taking nasty drugs you know see see a doctor and get some help and you know go go and get some help don't be doing that um, yeah so anyway right what happened okay let's somebody said what happened Matt so I uh, right that that spurs me on to say what happened um, and how what's the time oh we've been here for oh my stomach's grumbling we've been here for 40 minutes so far so we're just about to get up to the up to speed right it has been uh, my intention to go and go back and do some research at the place called Rendlesham and Woodbridge which is a UFO story and um do my neighbor do my neighbor watch my channel i don't know i hope they don't um oh subutex from methadone heroin substitute prescribed well yeah but just don't keep just don't keep doing it um so anyway yes uh wanted to go back to the um wanted to go back to this place that um we did in this UFO video and uh, I, I basically had a couple of ideas on the cards of places we could visit and it's a fair old drive I think it takes about four hours to get to it from where I live um, so I asked a few people if they wanted to come um, my, my friend Steve who's my UFO buddy um, he wanted to come and um, basically uh, then Sam and Jess said they would like to come and Luke uh, living at Urban wanted to come and Curbs wanted to come. Curbs dropped out but all the rest came and we had a f sort of fairly full car because of this. Uh, I would have liked to have taken my bike, my electric bike, because I thought well there's a possibility that this could be a, 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 a moderate walk along a beach you know and if it is then we can always get more stuff transported back and forth on the bike you know faster. Uh, but because there wasn't enough space, I didn't end up taking the bike. Now, um, had we taken the bike, I think this would have been a whole different outcome. Um, now, this is leading me to believe that in the future, if I'm going to do something similar to this, I'm going to have to say to people that I would normally love to bring with me. Um, my stomach is grumbling and gurgling terribly here. Um, so... I'll have to be uh, restricting the numbers of people I take uh, simply because I need to take the bike you know um, it's a way that I could get a lot more gear a lot further without you know having to be weighed down um, I had my usual camera kit on my back and uh, because it was a hot day I thought oh, I'm gonna sweat my sweat my boobies off here so um, of course I didn't think about 
coat, did I? And it's certainly sensible, like taking a coat and extra clothing along with me because I was already, already carrying lots of stuff and it was quite heavy. So we could see where we needed to go in the distance and it didn't look too bad. And we'd kind of worked out it was probably going to be like a couple of miles walk. So we decided we would walk. What we didn't know, because you can't drive down there, by the way, this is an island that's um, not accessible, you know, uh, directly. Um, you, you can go along a, a very thin strip of land that becomes, you know, just shingle and beach, basically. It's just a, like a peninsula, you know, and it uh, you can um, go, yeah, take a break, get some f uh, food to eat. But yeah, if I do that, I mean, I, I can do that in a bit. Um, I can't leave the stream going, so um, yeah, bike roof rack says micro uber repairs. We could do that, or I could put it on the back. But I've got to look into these things whether I, you know, so we can keep keep the amount of people in the car, and then yeah, put it on the back or something like that. But there's there's various ways we could possibly do it. But yeah, we'll have to um, yeah ah <sighs> yeah. Somebody says they got drunk one week ago and it was the best and worst feeling ever. <laughs> yeah. Right, um, no, uh, this place wasn't in Wales actually. Uh, per, 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 I was going to say Perlin the Midgen Whisperer. There we are, see, mixing up my words. Um, so, yes, it wasn't in Wales, it was um, near, uh, I suppose, Norwich is Suffolk, you know, so it's like right over, right over there. Uh, Woodbridge, Bentwaters, Rendlesham Forest, um, that sort of area. But um, one of the stories is that there was this lighthouse that was seen, you know, um, whilst they were out looking for this UFO in the forest, you know, the army guys were there and, uh, well, not our army, the um, American Air Force guys were there and they were um, hunting this thing down in the forest and they had light, light alls and whatnot there looking for this thing. One of the features of the story is that they could see the lighthouse light sweeping across in the distance. Now, it turns out that that, that location where that lighthouse was was a secret base and it was used in the 1960s yes it's very near Ipswich vapor underground is correct um, it was used in the 1960s for development of nuclear weapons and uh, so it was it's an experimental station now there are um, still buildings there to, to this day which are part of the experiments they did so they've got missile launch things they've got test rigs they got um, you know rooms and buildings and whatnot, but also they had a very large antenna array, some of which is still there, and the antennas that are there t today are nothing compared to what was there in the past. But um, it was interesting that these antennas were aligned in such a way that it looks like they were beaming stuff out in the direction of where this UFO sighting would have happened. And it, the talk is that there were experiments going on there in the 80s. And what I and other people wonder was if they were experimenting with very high frequency, very high power energy, and it was directed somewhere in the region of that base, that um, they may have actually caused something to happen with the nuclear weapons, possibly, or maybe even causing people to hallucinate something happening in the forest with these lights. That's a possibility. Um, there were if energy effects whereby people's equipment was going off, the light alls were going on and off, even though they were fully serviced. Well, you know, I wonder whether a high energy, you know, beam weapon or, or transmission of something that effectively becomes like a beam weapon, you know, it, it may not have been designed as a weapon, but it was certainly, uh, it ended up uh, causing enough of a fuss to, you know, make people think possibly you could use something like that as a weapon. But uh, what was happening around this lighthouse which is on the same island, Orford Ness is the island, by the way, Orford Ness, spelled O-R-F-O-R-D, and then N-E-S-S. -S. Um, so that uh, that place, that's the Orford Ness Lighthouse, housed this secret project called Cobra Mist. Okay, i just lick my lips a minute, because they're going really dry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. So, um, Orford Ness was the place where they um, had this experimental experimentation station. Now, not a lot is known about it, but locals uh, who lived in the area were talking about dead seagulls being found in large amounts around this area. 
and considering it was something to do with radio waves makes you wonder whether or not they, these birds were being zapped out of the sky by this weapon you know by this radar by this transmitter that was there and if it if it's big enough to kill birds i mean goodness knows what it's doing to the local population where this thing is being directed in the in the vicinity of so um yeah so john rp grauby says they're experimenting with 5g which causes a lot of health problems well yes i mean uh, when 5g f fully becomes active i mean people are going to get health problems for sure because at the moment they're operating in fairly low frequencies but they want the right and they've been given the right to operate in incredibly high frequencies that are used for radar and those are the dangerous the really dangerous frequencies because they could literally like make you feel like your skin's on fire you know make you vomit uh, do all sorts of things you know to kind of p make people ill and um um yeah um minisaurus says they wanted 900 plus for a root a root canal yeah and den plan was 47 pounds a month isn't it isn't it 900 pound isn't it right that's 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 big bucks isn't it yeah because all they do right this works out a root canal how long does it take them you come in you're out in half an hour they give you an injection they wait for it to come in yeah then they go yeah so we're talking 900 pound an hour these people are on 900 pound an hour yeah yeah they got a bit of equipment they had to buy but they're on 900 pound an hour yeah words escape me well ones that won't get me demonetized escape me right now yeah anyway um so right let's go back to the point um we got to this place and you can see big buildings in the distance and the lighthouse and from a drone you can see that there is um a lot a lot of um markings on the ground which would seem to be like where the rays of these this weapon would have gone and i think the idea behind this testing they were doing as well as to see whether they could direct a beam without having to have a movable head on the device so if you imagine antennas normally if you have an antenna and it has like prongs or whatever you tend to sort of point it in the direction where you want to fire the signal or receive the signal yeah well what these people were doing was putting up static antennas and trying to manipulate the frequency so that it would beam and bend itself through the air so if you imagine lasers traveling straight lines, yeah? Well, this, this is a similar principle. A, a radio wave will normally dissipate out, but it tends to travel in a, in a direction. The higher the frequency you go, the more it travels in a straight line until, it, until you get to such a high frequency, it becomes light, and then it travels in a very straight line. You see, so that's how this works now. But what you could do with this system, a phase array uh, radar system, is you can actually um, change the frequency, change the pulse uh, width and things like this um, and you can actually make the beam bend so it, it comes out and it bends around so without having to have any moving parts yeah, they were experimenting probably back then with phase array radar um, and how to manoeuvre it and make it go where you want it to go so um, there we are, Ian Houston says been to Orford Nest twice Great Explorer 99 and 91 came home with a banging headache. It's interesting that, isn't it? Yeah. Um, oh, God. Um, yeah, Acute 33 says my, his fillings slowly turned black and then all my teeth fell out over the years and now he's pain-free. Yeah. Um, my old private dentist done a root canal for me. It was 300 quid. Yeah. Um, John Clark, he says, the BBC World Service took over the site after the M MOD decided to close the radar um, buildings were empty and site cleared of any antennas by that stage yeah I think the, the antennas we saw were from the BBC and they would have been hanging antenna wires from them so it wasn't the actual vertical antennas with the business yeah it was the wires that hung uh, horizontally from antenna mast to antenna mast those are the ones that were doing the business so um, uh, do so anyway um yeah, uh, Raver DK says, as an electronic engineer, Matt pretty much has got this nailed down. Phase of multiple antennas will indeed, will indeed change the behaviour of the RF beam. So, um, yeah. Oh, God. 5G is absolutely ridiculously ex expensive on EE. It costs £45 a month. 
for a 5G nano SIM. You know what? You know why it's so expensive? Because they have to put in so many transmitters everywhere to make the system work. They're making you pay for that. And when it's all installed, then you'll pay for it in another way as well. It's called your health. Anyway, I've got to go to the loo. I'll be back in a minute. So, oh. Right, oh, got myself some milk. Ow, my hands are aching. I can't close my hands ah, without agony, right? That's another symptom. It's like, it must be, feels like arthritis or something. Uh, and these are just little scratches I got from thorns and rubbish when I was down there the other day, so I just patched myself up a bit. But it's just like this. I can't close my fists when I'm like this because it's just like, ah, oh. yeah, nice. So I don't know what that's all about. Whew, I feel quite lightheaded after doing that, a bit of pain. Um, oh dear. Was that, that was weird. Did the light, did anyone see the light flash then? Oh, it's not my brain going flash, hang on. <laughs> um, oh. Anyway, um, I just fancied a nice bit of milk and I'll get the doggy up here in a minute because uh, I've got, um, well, where was I? It's not, the, it's not the place that's caused me to suffer so much pain. It was the circumstances. It wasn't the place. Um, it was the circumstances. I mean, I've got, I've got my hay fever, feeling a bit run down and tired. Didn't get much sleep before I decided to do such a massive... Um, <laughs> James Black says, "I'm a, I'm a, I'm a flipping hypochondriac." <laughs> well, yeah, I am, um, but it doesn't mean I'm not ill. Yeah. So, okay. Oh. I have eaten. I've had, um, I had some baked beans and chips earlier on, so I've definitely eaten for sure. But yeah, I'll eat some more, definitely. And I had a packet of crisps. I know you're going to say, "Oh, but that's not real food." Well, yeah, but. Yeah, um, I might I might make myself a pizza. I'll just gorge out, but I don't want to overeat because I don't want to put on weight. So you know, but yeah, I know you have to eat when you're ill. You have to eat. So yes, I do know this. Um, I have literally before I came on air, I had a meal. So um, <laughs> bring bring Angel upstairs. Uh, all right then. Right. Okay. Let's get the dog up there. Just chuck her out there for now. Oh. She'll soon be here, don't worry. Oh, what's the matter? 
Did you hear something? Mmm. I'm just going to run some of these. Mm. Nom. Nom, nom, nom. Ah, so, oh, there we are. I just bit my lip. Right, I'm out. Trying to get the, um, yeah, right. Do you want to jump on the bed? Go on. Yeah. Right. So she's happy now. Anyway, you won't see so much of her, but, well, yeah, she's on the bed. Well, well. Mm -mm -mm. I've loads of them. Right. But she, she is there. But everything I'm eating at the moment, including that, these are not very good. They're making my mouth in flames, so I'm not going to eat too much. Right, um, oh. Michael Myers says he has a bully, bulldog. Yeah, nice dogs. Shame they are slightly, uh, slightly, uh, squished in noses and uh, genetically altered, uh, you know, but yeah, they're nice. They're nice. I like, I like my dogs to look like uh, they've got snouts and tails. Yeah. Ah, mm-hmm. Right. So, back to the point, back to the point. Let's get there, let's get there. Um, I haven't talked to the engine out for the boat, but um, if you watch the beginning of the video, I'll talk about it a bit more. Um, you know, I have to rewind this video, and I do talk about it. Okay, the... Um, uh, the... Cobra Mist. Yeah, we got there, we got onto the island by walking along the beach headland. It was, it was supposed to be a couple of miles, but we were, uh, it felt like a lot more because all of the um, stones that we were walking on were kind of loose. So instead of you getting a good fast footing, you were sort of sludge, sludging. Um, each footstep wasn't really doing so much work. And um, so that took longer and that was a real ball ache getting over there, to be honest, it was boring. Um, then we got off that um, that bit which had the stones onto the island itself. That was a lot easier. And then we got towards the buildings which are there and the antennas, and we had a look around. And it, uh, we could hear music playing. And we looked it, we looked it up on uh, on Google, and we found out that uh, Radio Caroline actually transmits from there now. That's their transmitter site. Hmm. Mm. Uh, Dog de Bordeaux as the urban legend. I've got to remind myself what that is now, but I think he did tell me. But I think that's what um, I think that's what Merlin the Pitching Whisper has got, isn't it? Isn't that that? Oh no, no, it's those. Is they big old um, uh, floppy sort of floppy skinned? Oh my God, they're amazing. I love love the look of those dogs. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, French bull mastiffs. Yeah, they're a type of mastiff, aren't they? Um, but very floppy. Yeah, uh, was it Turner and Hooch? That movie wasn't it? That was one of those, probably. I think. Uh, right, where's my where's my chat channel thing? Right. Uh, anyway, back to the point. So we got onto the island. We had to look around. We found out that it was run by now Radio Caroline. Actually, used the transmitter site that was there, and um, we we were sort of finished up there, and we were going to go and have a look at the. Uh, the rest of the site, which would have included the um, the old nuclear bits where they did the nuclear experimentation, and um, yeah, uh, I'm I'm looking at the comments. I have to stop looking at the comments for a minute because it's breaking my train of thought. Then we were going to go and have a look at the lighthouse as well. So um, the decision was made that that would probably be a bad idea because it was starting to get dark and it would have taken too long to get there so we decided we would just turn turn back and walk the quickest way to the beach um, and then go along the the beach way to get home now the problem was where initially when we got over there it was quite warm and this was getting towards near sun sunset and the wind got up I was expecting the wind to go down the wind had actually got up and it was a lot stronger so um, when it started to get cold walking back I started feeling hypothermic and I don't know whether it was because of heat stroke or whatever um, because I, I definitely you know picked up a lot of heat on the way over there but I started feeling heat stroke and then I've had hypothermic effects and I was sh shivering 
and I was basically feeling like, you know, because I had a t-shirt on, it was taking all the heat off my body. My arms were cold, my neck was cold, my head was cold. Um, and so I put a, I put this hat on that I had, um, but it was still, you know, my, my neck and my head were, were cold. And uh, my, I said to everybody, just walk back, you know, we'll, we'll carry on. My mate Steve sort of stayed with me and um, everyone else kept, walked ahead. But uh, there's uh, no describing, you know, it's, it was really hard. It was, um, it was really hard. Um, in fact, I mean, I did, it, better than describe it, like I'll show you, I'll actually bring up some clips because I, I filmed with my camera. Bear in mind that I was very, very drained of energy. I was very cold and um, I was fighting for ways to, to keep myself warm. You know, people offered, oh, I'll take off my, my top if you need it and things. And I said, no, no, it's all right. No, no, don't do that because then you'll be feeling like I'm feeling. Probably they wouldn't because they weren't in the state I was in. But I, 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 I was like, you know, oh, no, it's OK. Don't do that, you know, and all that. And then people sort of accelerated ahead. And then it was just me and Steve. And, and I was my thought, my, the thoughts that were going through my head was um, we're never getting there. We're never getting there because this we were looking for the headland and it was never getting closer hang on am i i'm out of focus aren't i i am hang on i forgot to stick the focus back it's actually out of focus uh there you go that's a bit better isn't it yeah there we go so i, I my, the thought process is going through my head was nothing was getting closer and we'd been walking for an hour and it just seemed like the, the lighthouse was still the same size and the headland was still the same size and it's like as if i was in some sort of like horror movie where you, you you can't escape you know it was like nothing was getting closer we weren't achieving anything and we were walking and we we're getting tireder well, more tired sorry not tireder that's the wrong word we were getting more and more tired and um it was it was just horrible it was a horrible feeling and it felt like shit and i got back to the car and i was just like oh god you know and then of course on top of that then you had to uh I had to drive back home, so it was like lots of stops of coffee and, uh, you know, feeling like shit. And, uh, yeah, I mean, had I had the electric bike with me, I could have got over to the island quickly and had anyone become ill, I could have gone back and got whatever we needed, yeah, and we could have, we could have ferried things back and forth in record time. But as it turned out, you know, we had to walk. I didn't have a coat. Um, I got really cold, like very, very cold. And Steve was Steve himself was saying, you know, it was it was just bloody horrible. Anyway, let's um, uh, yeah, uh, people are talking about Trump. I'm really glad to see that he's brought out this, um, you know, uh, thing against the uh, social media companies doing uh, fake news censorship and taking away freedom of speech, speech, because it is definitely. Uh, definitely required because you know you've got YouTube deciding what you can and can't say what's good what's bad you know well who are they puritanical bloody preachers or something you know they can decide what's right and what's wrong and what can be said and what can't be said you know so that that to me steers society that steers society in a way that a bunch of people who are not elected I never said what was okay for them to do and not to do yeah so they make it up themselves and it's like, you know, God knows what politics they work under and, uh, you know, and what sort of pressures can be placed on them by companies and governments and things to do what they want and do their bidding. You know, I think people should be allowed free, free speech. And if it's not good, then, you know, if it's not good what people are saying, then let the comments deal with it. We don't need the people who run the, run the you know, the thing to deal with it for us. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's get to these videos, okay? Now, I I ended up, I had to put a, um, uh, I had a little ninja mask thing, which had been in my bag forever and I've never never really used it. And I had to, um, I had to put that on to try and get extra warmth. But I was so, uh, so drained by the end of it. I was honestly thinking that I was going to collapse or just, you know, I needed some rest. But I was thinking if I rest, I'll never, I'll never keep, I'll never start moving again. If I rest now, I won't, I won't be able to start moving so I kept going but the thought was that something's going to happen here and I'm going to collapse and then they're going to end up calling a bloody ambulance or something yeah um, but I didn't want to I didn't want that to happen I carried on in the end eventually 
it seemed like an eternity because it was horrible. Time seemed stretched right out. And it seemed like we were walking and walking and walking and walking forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And it just seemed to take forever. And Steve attested to that. It's just like, you know, God, he said, we're never going to get there. We're never, we're never getting there, you know. Um, so there we go. Uh, let's have a look at the videos. So let me see if I can bring one up first. Um, right, round two. This is. Oh, oh hi, uh, yes. Yeah. Um, uh, I... Let me see if I can find it. 31st. These are all. Okay. Right, here we go. I'm looking at myself now on the screen. I look, I look rough. <laughs> I look rough on the screen, actually. Let me just see if I. Uh, so I go full screen on this. Um, let's see if I can bring it up. Do, 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 do. Okay, 2K, full. Right, I might have to put on the audio as well. So let's see if this works. Wind. This is this. This. Oh yeah. I just explained that I'm actually putting my bag in front of me. Uh, the reason being is because I'm trying to keep the wind from my, hitting my belly because it's, it's stripping the stripping the heat from my belly. I'm getting this hit, heat strip from my head, my belly, my neck, my legs, my arms. So I'm basically trying to you know survive here. So yeah, there I just cover myself as much as possible. So we even tried we even tried like walking down the hill to see if it was less wind or up the hill or on the side of the beach you know to see because it was that bad i mean it wasn't it was something like you know you just wanted to get out of that wind because it was cold and it was biting yeah so anyway let's have a Let's have a little look. Oh, um, um, oh, hang on. Did I have this right screen even selected then? Hang on. Yeah, yeah. Horrible. Horrible. So that was the start. Let's go and just move on to like later when I, when I sort of, um, do more of this. Let's have a look. I'll just skip forward. Oh, sorry. Right. I'm basically, I'm basically telling people here, I'm having to cover myself up, and I did literally have to walk with my hand like that to, to, to stop the wind hitting my neck. So I tried putting my, my stuff up like that, but it's doesn't seem to be working. So a lot of it was walking like this to stop the wind hitting my neck because the, it was cooling my, my neck down so much. I thought that the way I was feeling was probably to do with the fact that your neck, if it gets chilled, you can, you can end up sort of feeling bad from that. So anyway, let's have a little look again. Well, has got uh, a proper hop on motor. Yeah, it's not the end of the world, but it could turn nasty. What's that say? The temperature's going to blomp, blomp down. We're going to be closer to home by then, but it's going to be shit. Do you think emergency, yeah, silver? Silver blanket, you know, in the bloody kit, like. Mm. And I'm saying, you know, in the future, I'll have to get an emergency silver blanket. You know, it's very light and very small. I'll just put it in my kit because, um, you know, there's... <laughs> It was just was not comfortable at all. It was not comfortable. And um, let's have a little look at what happened a bit later on. So let's go move forward a couple of videos now. So this one, you can see that I've put on my... Um, hang on, is it, is it the wrong angle? Nice. Oh, I, there's nothing I can do about that right now, it's, if it's done it at the wrong angle when I started. But I've got my... Um, ninja mask on but like we're, we're just 
you know, just took forever. And as I said in the previous video, the sun's going down. And when that happens, it's going to get really cold really fast. It was bad enough as it was. And it, yes, it got worse. As you see, everything's tucked in. Look at this. Check your neck. Check your neck. So I'm, I'm basically in, in, in sort of like trying to save myself here, you know, by trying to keep as much of my body covered as possibly I could. And um, I think Steve actually chimes in at some point as well and, and sort of like, I can't, hang on, Steve sort of comes in and says, no, oh, it's pretty bad, you know. But there we are. He was laughing at me when I put it first on. He was like, oh, look at you. What's he called me? The Phantom Pie Flinger, I think he calls me. Uh, hang on, there he is, look. See what, we can see what he's got to say. He's, uh, let me see. <laughs> right, so that's that. Let's go to the next one. Um, Oh, I'm, I, oh, sorry. I don't think you saw. You didn't. You didn't see that, did you? Because I was on the wrong bloody screen. Sorry, I'm not. Ah, right. Sod it. Sod it. Right. Let's get to the next video. I'll get this one right. Car. Oh. Right. Okay. I'll give you an idea. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's get that full screen. Oh. Full screen. Right. Okay. So, here we go. Car oh, is. Uh, there they are. Ten miles. And there. Uh, somewhere, uh, there. Uh, so anyone who says that we so yeah it was it just seemed like a long way away and it never got any closer so yeah it never got any closer um, until right at the last minute but I mean, it was just like anyone who says just a little walk on the beach right there we are so let's get this going then so don't believe it don't believe it Taking don't this believe, like, don't believe flat thing out. He and others believe me it was a small walk. The problem when it's like a, it's, it's not blowing a gale, but this is nasty. If you take a coat with you, just in case it changes, it's like, well, for the end of the world, it's uncomfortable. So, hence my uh, there's me putting on a brave face saying it's not the end of the world. It was the end of the world because that's not what was going through my head. What was going through the head, my head was this is going to be the end of the world. I am going to, I am going to collapse. Uh, I was putting on a brave face, but trust me, that's not what was going through my head. Right, and uh, I was not a happy Teddy. So yeah, um, is there any more to this video, or should we just skip on see if there's a bit more towards the end? Hey, Rob. No, that's not. That's another video. So, that was the last video I did. I think I actually said this is this is going to be the last video in it. So I'll I'll finish there then, and let's come back and bring up your comments and see what I've been doing wrong. <laughs> see if I've done anything right. Uh, uh, it's gone. It's moved. The position of the comments has moved. Oh, the position's moved. Hang on. Well, bear with me. Right. There we are. Oh. 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 Come on, stop buggering about. Right, I have to stretch the screen out a minute. There we go. Right, let's have a look at what you've been saying. So, I mean, it was a lot darker than it looks there um, because the camera makes it look bright. It, it was literally, you know, you're talking the sun is, is just setting on the horizon or just gone over the horizon. And uh, when I got back to the car, you know, you you know, it would have been, it would, you would have had crap photography if you tried to take photos. It would have been, it was, definitely dark and um, so as I drove out to the place we had our headlights on you know what I mean so it's like it was definitely um, but somebody said uh, take care Matt you're not as young as the rest of them yeah yeah oh this is Uber micro repair says I used to ride through small heath got bottles thrown at me uh, and spat at because I was white oh my god um, so there, that's that was us coming away from the place. But um, you know, it didn't. It didn't. It it struck me more as a kind of like a survival exercise rather than a bloody trip to see um, some transmitters. You know, because it, we didn't end up. Uh, we didn't think we were going to have that happen to us, and we didn't think that it was going to be that extreme. 
So it just just goes to show, even though you think you shouldn't need to do it, you know, you do need to take proper clothing with you in case it, it rains or the elements change. Because if you get caught out and you get hypothermic and you get like, you know, it's it's not good. So it is really important, you know, just even though it's more weight and more ball leg, -like, just take something with you. Even if it, I was saying, even if it's been my uh, very thin waterproof coat that wraps up into a small space even if it had just been that it would have kept the wind off me you know but it was um unfortunate and it led to afterwards me me you know having heat stroke bloody symptoms and uh and then the hypothermic stuff i'm sure didn't help and i i've just had to spend the best part of well i don't know two days is it what day i don't even know what day we're on Tuesday, yeah, it was Sunday, so I've just not, I've just lost two days, yeah, because of this, so um, yeah, so take it seriously if you're going out and explores, and uh, don't mess around with uh, um, the elements because uh, even on a day that was sunny, and even on a day that looked perfectly fine, yeah, there were factors there that could really screw it up, yeah, like the high winds um, taking all the heat off your body. Yeah, uh, it's just crazy. I didn't think that that could happen. Certainly not somewhere in the UK. Just high winds. Yeah. Mm. So IKS Steve says, what a day. I, Steve was there. IKS Steve is in channel, so hi to IKS Steve. He says, what a day. It was. It was a crazy day. And um, I think it, it, it tested a lot of people. I mean, Steve, how did you feel after the day? I mean, did you feel like it pushed you pushed you out uh, on the limits? Yeah, Sue Dilworth. Hello, Sue. How are you? Classic sunstroke symptoms, Matt. Yeah. Dear, dear. Maybe I did have sunstroke then. Shit, isn't it? Yeah. Um, just watched uh, Sam and uh, Jess's video and joined here now. Um, glad you have Boaty Muck Boat Face now. Keep safe always, says Deco Floyd. Yeah. Michael Myers, it will happen. It'll go up soon. Yeah, so uh, well, hopefully, um, hopefully, you know, we'll feel better over the next day or so. And I'd like to get out and do some stuff. I did say to Curbs this evening, I said, "Oh, I'll Curbs, I'll come up to Swindon. We'll just have a chat because I was, you know, feeling like a bit stir crazy. We're just gonna have a chat about, you know, doing some stuff or whatever." And then I just didn't have the energy, and I was like, "Oh God, maybe I'll just do a live stream instead because then I'm not driving the car feeling drained, you know, and that's better, you know." So. Hmm. So IKS has hit a hundred thousand subs. Wow! When was that then? Um, let's have a look. That's worse than the RAF regiment's five mile of death. Um, Barbara Ridding says I went to Rudlow but couldn't get in. Okay. Um, I'm going boss side now. Am I really? Am I going boss side? I don't think so. I've got, I've got, still got my unopened can of warm beer here, and I've got some milk. Mm. What, what places do I know of in Swindon? Um, we've been to quite a few of them. Um, Curbs is the best guy to ask because he lives in Swindon. Um, Sam and Jess's video is very good. Is this the one from uh, the island? Is this the one where we went down to uh, Drake's Island? Yeah, I haven't actually managed to edit mine yet, so I've got so many more important ones to do before that. It's going to take a little while to come out. But, um, yeah. Um, Raver says, I've seen worse, Matt. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not necessarily... It's not. I didn't look too bad, but I felt bad. And, uh, like, yesterday, my swelling's gone down in my lips. It was, my lips were right up. Um, I assume most of you probably watched the, um, well, some of you would have watched the Carl's video from Dark Arts Paranormal. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I think I'm going to go in a bit because um, I want to get to bed and it's um, come up to nine o'clock, so I'm probably going to do it. Let the dog out. I've managed to take the dog out today, so she she's okay. Um, there was an there was an IK article in the Express the other day. Really? Hmm. World War Two: Eight secret blitz tunnels built below London underground exposed. 
Hmm. Okay. So anyway, right. I'm going to. Uh, I hope I've managed to say thank you to everybody who's done these donation things, uh, the super chats. I don't quite know how much has been. Um, how much has been actually sort of like you know gathered, but uh, um, I, I, I would imagine it's going to be about twenty pounds or something like that, which is very kind of those people to uh, to do that. So that will uh, definitely go towards. Um, uh, some suntan cream <laughs> and, uh, and possibly a bigger hat so um, we shall see but uh, for the moment look because I'm I'm starting to flag a bit uh, and yeah um, I, I don't think you'd have got this long out of me if I if I'd actually had any alcohol right I, I would have literally half a can to a can and I would literally be unable to speak by now okay that's just the state I'm in and okay and uh yeah, trust me, uh, there ain't no alcohol. Um, I've still got some of my, oh, where is it? Vimto left, so that'll be going with me by, beside the bed for me to go to sleep and have a nice night. But there we are. Um, I will edit the video properly. I'll probably have to redub over the sound because it's so windy, you can't hear what I'm saying, but um, there we go. Mm. And it helped help hydrate my stiff lips. Mm. There we are. Uh, we will probably go back as well. Um, uh, yeah, re relax with Granny. She'll help you. Get better, Max. Relax with Granny. And she'll help you. Uh, my Granny's passed away, unfortunately. So, mm. um, Sam and Jess. Let's have a look. What video have they got then? Whoops. Base Rebels uh, is a record label providing, or well, they subscribe to a channel. <laughs> See, so they, there we are. Journey to Journey to the Hidden Island. Look, there we are. Oh, see the vid. Yeah, okay, uh, yeah, forget it, forget it. It's called Journey to UK's Forbidden Island, and now I've lost my chat thing. Okay. So there we go, folks. Um, have a look at their channel, and uh, we'll catch you all soon. But anyway, just wanted to let you know, uh, because apparently a lot of people were asking about me and saying, am I okay? And I'm definitely uh, a lot better than I was. So yeah, it just takes time, you know. Um, sometimes when I get overexerted, I, I have to take a couple of days to recover. And this was definitely on the far end of the scale. So yeah, we shall have to take it a bit more easy in the future. Um, I'll definitely get the electric bike so I can uh, take a lot of the hard work out of uh, getting to some of these places. Yeah. Okay then, thank you very much. He says I look really ill. <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel I feel a little bit uh, run down, but yeah, we are getting there, we are getting there. At least I'll, I'll probably have a nice, uh, nicer tanned skin at the end of it, although that'll probably all just fall off as well. Okay, thanks very much for watching, and uh, we shall catch you all soon. And to everybody who's donated, a thank you again, and uh, catch you on the next one. So keep exploring. Just make sure you take a coat. <laughs>